Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about filtering using columns. In a previous demonstration, I added two columns, two categorization columns to my document library. And as you'll notice, these are now columns in my view here. So I can very easily go in and filter based on these. I can also sort. So if I want the newest ones first, I can do that. Uh, or if I do want the uh, oldest ones first, I can do that very easily. I actually have some without categorization. Of course, they are the lowest number. So that would be a null then. You can also filter. So let's say I want to see the documents from 2011. That works just brilliantly. And of course, I can combine multiple filters here. So now I filtered on the year. I can also filter on the type of document. So let's say I want to see the, the invoices from 2011. That, that shows those three documents. So if you've ever used Excel or Access or some other software with these type of columns, you'll find that this is you know something that you're used to working with. And, and most likely your users will like this feature too. You might also want to take note here. It's a very, very long URL here, but at the end you will see that it's actually changing. When you change the filtering, so now if I change that and show, set it to quotes instead, like that, and then go click on the URL, you'll see the filter value equals quotes. That's what that says. So it's possible to link directly to a filter like this without having to create a view. I'm gonna talk about creating views later, but, but just this filtering bit is quite powerful. And uh, as it's dynamically added to the URL, you can copy that URL and send it to somebody and they will see exactly what you're seeing. Even if you don't, don't have permission to create a view, you can filter it like this. So filtering by columns is a very powerful thing that you should really know how to do. So that concludes this little demo on filtering based on column values. Thank you for watching.